All right, friends, I am stoked about this video with Captain Will Rogers of the famous Boston Whaler brand. And we are on a 405 Conquest. I love this boat. I love this boat. I gotta say, it's just so different. You're excited about this yeah, boat. Yeah, I'm excited right, about great. it. I'm excited about this. I've been wanting to do this review the whole show. So thank you for that. Oh, no problem, not at all. You know, the 405 Conquest is really a boat that is going to create family memories yep. for years to come. And that's really what this owner is looking for, something that he can overnight in. I'll give you an example. The yep. first time my family overnighted in this boat, we went to the Dry Tortugas for four days. Mm -hmm. What an experience that was. And this boat really fulfilled all of our needs for that little special vacation with the family. You do the long range, you can do all the fishing you want, you Absolutely. can do the overnighting that you right, want, and right. you can hold a lot of people if you want, and you can get there comfortably, I'm guessing. Oh, absolutely. You know, the boat cruises uh, 35 to 40 miles an hour. Yep. Uh, it has ample storage because, you know, when you're going for four or five days, you need four or five days worth of provisions. And that's really what this boat does so well. Whether we're here in the cockpit yep. with the summer kitchen, uh, the grill, beautiful freezer here down below, or we go up to the helm deck where we have the, you know, the hot plate. We're gonna do the vegetables and the yep. onions and everything right there. We're gonna have our grill right here, throw the fish on that, and you're just gonna have a great experience. Do you have the option here of, let's say, to make it fish-centric versus social-centric? How does that work with this? With Absolutely. Um, if you don't get the summer kitchen option, uh, there is a bench seat back here that folds in, right? Yep. And that's really important for us fishermen because we're not sticking something sharp yes. into the cushion, right? That's so exactly it folds right. in and it has full bolsters all the way around. Uh, that's complemented by the rod storage uh, that you see back yep. here, the rod holders. And then of course a 45 gallon live well over here, uh, which, you know, really, really is gonna keep those baits preppy and, 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 and lively. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Now in terms of this massive, um, uh, equipment area we mm -hmm, have. Break, mm -hmm. that, break that down for us. I saw that we've got the Sea Keeper already installed in this one. It looks like access is unbelievably easy, which can be a total pita in a boat. Yeah. All know. yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm a fairly large guy, yeah. but uh, when I open up this hatch, I can access all of the pumps and mechanicals yes. that go with this boat. Here in Florida, in the southern uh, regions, the seawater strainers, they need to be cleaned every so often. Very accessible. We even provide a spanner wrench mounting location for you to have easy access to that. But that also includes our batteries and other systems that go along with the boat. Uh, the generator back here is so easily accessible. This is really one of the pluses of the design of a Boston Whaler. Yeah, I, it's it's accessibility. We just can't stress it enough. Mm -hmm. Huge area here in the cockpit. So let's move to the helm Will, yeah. and see what we got here because we've got like social central here and it looks like, like a lot of the Boston Whaler tech these days. We've got the transformer technology going on right, as well. That right, you right, can convert right. things to different things. So tell us about that. But a little while back, we were doing some voice of the customer work and the, and the clients were just basically telling us how they like to be up and where they have vistas, you know, and they, yes. and they can experience their environment. So that's what this whole dining area is here. Um, it can even be complemented by, uh, you know, rotating the seat around. Now, oh, it's a now big deal. You, it's a big deal. Now, yeah. you, you know, you have four people there. You can have five people up here very comfortably uh, in a conversation. Uh, but then again, the versatility of having the refrigerator here with uh, drawer storage, you know, your plates and so forth right there. Um, the hot plate up here, everybody says, well, why did you put a hot plate there? It's because I love to make my vegetables there. Love yeah. to make my, you know, saute the onions that are going to go on the fish and all that sort of thing there. So it's a, a very handy area and it keeps me in the environment. Of That's our, right. You want to be yeah. in the environment with the people it, that the social design matters a lot. Another element yeah. that, that really impressed me yeah. about this um, helm area was the massive storage unit that we have right. here, right in the center. I mean, what you can hold there. So, what, what, like fenders, tell us about dock that. lines, yeah. uh, toolkit, all those things can go in there, and they're not in your way. One of the concepts that we designed to at Boston Whaler is an item, an, an idea called point of view storage. Yep. Right, so that if you're looking for the dive ladder, it's by the dive door. If you're looking for the enclosure, it's yep. by where you would put the enclosure. It's things as small as the anchor windlass tool yes. is up with the anchor windlass. Um, so that's a very important concept that we designed to at Whaler. And then as we move to the helm station here, you know, we this have a very- This helm station is unbelievable. It's almost like we got two helm we do. itself. And again, it was a lot of voice to the customer. We worked with a lot of families on the design of this boat. And one of the things that we heard over and over again is that the captain 
likes to have his displays and he doesn't like other people changing the picture. Right? Okay, yes. You got great situational awareness here uh, from the helm. <laughs> this is really interesting. And, I see where this is going. And, and you don't really want anybody messing with your chart or your depth sounder or your radar. So what do we do? We have the companion unit over here, right? So now your crew if has- If they want to sit there and look at the, you know, like the fish finder all yeah. day long, they can do they that. Can do that. can do what Captain you know, does. So we can go, you know, we can go over here and we're back into all the menus that you could possibly want to explore while you're sitting over here. Another little key point, little, little bit of detail is so important. Having a joystick over here on the port side of the boat. Yeah, that's so, interesting. Yeah, so that when you're approaching a floating dock, you can see it. So I can literally, now, if I'm coming from this side to the dock, we've got dock on port side. Yep. I can be controlling my joystick here, see the actual distance and yeah. not feel like I'm trying to see it from over there or not communicate, not have somebody from my team tell right, me what to Right, right. Yeah. And then as you look through the window or, or put your arm through the window, right there are the midship fleets. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so they're it's accessible really, very quickly. Really smart. So. Which, by the way, the windows, like the open feel of this is, is phenomenal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we'll um, put a nice sunshade on it, uh, yeah. a mesh sunshade that'll allow you to have some visibility. We'll cut the temperature down in here on a hot August day. And then of course we have the rear enclosure here that um, can completely isolate this area in terms of air conditioning. Yeah. Uh, we have two air conditioning units up here, 18,000 BTUs. Um, so it, it can put, be quite in comfortable in here. She's yeah. putting it out. Yeah. Cool, yeah. let's go in the cabin and check it out. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're here in the cabin now, Cap, and we've got a lot of cool things that are happening. Once again, a lot of, I mean, like uh, the, the clearance is over seven feet. Oh yeah, in this yeah. Area we, uh, we've had some very tall gentlemen uh, clients that have come down here and just said, hey, Will, guess what? You got it. This yeah. is my boat. Why is that? Well, it's, you know, I don't bump my head when I get in the boat. So. <laughs> yeah, Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Satisfied, yeah. right? Satisfied. But, you know, it's complemented by a, a very nice queen size mid berth. And yeah, the it's thing a about legitimate mid berth there. It's not like a, yeah. like a, like a, just like a throw in mid berth. No, nope, that's a nope, legit. Not at all. And of course, it has the storage all around, all cedar line. Very, very, very nice. We can also include some optional rod storage overhead for the times that you want to bring your rods in yep. for your weather security or weather. But then the settee area here is also quite interesting because um, as you can see the TV, um, yeah. I can tell you that I've spent many a night down here just watching the game and, and doze off. And next thing I wake up in the morning and I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but the table does drop down. Uh, it will make another so sleeping we'll make another area. Bit. Yeah, there are ample storage all the way around, uh, which is really, really, really nice. And then we have an optional freezer uh, right here under this cushion, uh, which is really going to give this boat those that range that you're looking for in yeah, terms of provisions. That additional freezer yeah. goes such a long way. Yep. So, so hypothetically, we almost have three twin size beds or, right. above or above here in the cabin area. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, that's complemented by a little refrigerator. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a grill top here, uh, microwave, um, you know, my curry goes right in there. Uh, it's, it's just really, really, really well out, laid out. Um, the head enclosure also, you know, talking about that, it's a dry head. There is a petition yes. uh, that'll keep the shower separated from the toilet area. And it is a porcelain head, a vacuum flush porcelain head that you find on, on big yachts. Yeah. Um, so well, it's a, very it's a well developed. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a yacht feel. Do you think, uh, last couple questions here yeah. for you, Will, and thank you so much for answering these for our community. Um, Conquest. Does it stop here at the 405? Do you think it ever gets bigger? I mean, this is to me is just so stunning. What's well, your we, prediction? you know, we, we, we continue the development of, of the product line. And so, you know, the refinements to the boat from when we launched it a couple of years ago yeah. have been it's key for us right now. Um, as you can see, we fully integrated the Simrad systems into the boat. That just happened this year. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to comp continue to work on this platform, doing little tweaks here and there. We listen to our clients. And, uh, you know, that that is an ongoing process at Whaler. Um, you know, we'll be uh, working on some other projects here as the year comes along. Uh, but uh, we'll have to talk about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, we, we shall see. Yeah. And, and uh, last question, because everybody, of course, wants to know, and I know you can't give me exacts because you take something like this, there's a thousand options. Mm -hmm. What's a range rough MSRP for mm -hmm. the 405 Conquest? Um, it's going to range uh, to a fully uh, outfitted boat with gyro and a tower and all that, you know, yeah. as much as 1.8. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a, a very nicely equipped family cruiser uh, down about 1.2.
you know, I was I was actually thinking too. So I did pretty. Yeah, I, you, you know, did I'm well. Like, you did ah, well. We're saving somebody. All right. Well, Cap, this was great. We appreciate you. We appreciate Whaler. This is unbelievable, and uh, hopefully you enjoy this as well. And now you know all about the amazing, <laughs> unbelievable Boston Whaler 405 Conquest. Oh, okay.